welcome into the ballpark. Happy to have you with us. MLB The Show with a good one coming at you. It's the expansion era boomers and the long ball beasts. All right, we'll be back to get this one started after this. Just about to get underway. And today on the Hill, Greg Maddox. And Singy, he's one of the most dominant arms in all of baseball. Well, he comes at hitters with a five-pitch mix. So for him, it's always interesting to see how he utilizes those weapons. He may lean on one or two pitches depending on how things are going and how things are working. But if he can control four or even five of those offerings, look out, hitters. It's going to be a tough day. He's really going to be able to keep those guys off balance. One down, base is empty. Hit on the ground to the right side. Sneaks through, base head. So a man aboard now with one away. Runner on at first with one gone. Here's a speed threat, Ken Griffey hey. Jr. There's a strike. One ball, two strikes. Next <laughs> offering in the dirt, and the count's even at two. This is one of those situations the infielders have to pre-plan and understand that the ball's going to be hit extremely hard right at them if they're going to have a chance to go for a double play. Gwynn, the runner at first with one gone in the inning. Swing and a miss, struck him out. So digging in, Mike Schmidt. Next offering is fouled back. At the belt and fires. And he walked him. Now a great back and forth and that at bat. He had to lay off some really close pitches and somehow Boogie found a way to keep the bat on his shoulder right there. I'll tell you right now, I couldn't have done it. First inning going a bit long, 23 pitches to this point. Foul ball, another 2-2 upcoming. You know, he can move the ball around, add and subtract, get some weak contact at times. So you don't worry as much about him in this situation. Very capable of getting a ground ball and getting out of this little jam. And now it's three and two. Caught it looking for the K. So they strand. Welcome back. Getting the nod in this one, Tom Seaver. Chris, what should we keep an eye on here with him? Yeah, Boog, when you're a teammate of a guy like this, you love when it's his turn to pitch. He's out there on the mound carrying himself with a ton of confidence. That gives that other guys confidence that, That's hey, the other about. team's not going to score much. All we've got to do is have good at bats, put up some runs, and we should be able to get a win. He's got some of the best stuff around the league. So if he's on, he has the ability to control the game and... Guys aren't really going to get much to hit. Man, that's one of those at-bats where you have to remind yourself it's about the process. He did everything right right there. Nothing to show for it. But in your mind, you have to convince yourself that it was a very good at-bat. Gwynn makes the grab, and that's the inning. Back here at the ballpark. And now Eddie Murray. That's a base hit. And the leadoff man aboard. Next to hit, Mike Piazza. Ball to strike. Swing, and that one hammered. Down the line. If it's fair, it's gone. And that is out of here. A two-run homer. Just like that, they move in front. It's 2-0. With a low 90s fastball, you have to live on the edges and hit your spots. If you don't, you'll get hit hard. Really good swing there. Patient, waited for it. It was like BP all over again. And now Cal Ripken Jr. Way out front for strike two. Sharp grounder. That's through for a base hit. Man at first. Now it's the second baseman, Joe Morgan. Ripped on a line. Granderson right there to make the grab. And there's one away. So the lineup flips over. Now the left fielder, Ricky Henderson, swings and misses. And it's one and two. Well, it might be a night game, but it's pretty hot out there. I don't have to tell you, partner, you're sweating pretty good over there. 
Makes this long inning that he's grinding through out there a little extra taxi. The pitch. Spoils that one and it remains two and two. Next pitch has popped up. Two down. Well, that was a pitch you got to crush. Unbelievable that he missed it right there. And I'm telling you, he is going to be frustrating with himself until his next at bat. And he deals. Just oh, misses with that one. Hard on the ground to first. McGuire takes it himself. Third out, and that ends the frame. But two come across to score in the inning, courtesy of this two-run homer. It and welcome back. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. And now the first baseman, Mark McGuire. That one down the line. Base hit. That was smoke through the infield. So a runner aboard to start the inning. Just found a way to slap that ball down the third baseline. That's really excellent back control. And it kind of goes back to all those drills you see hitters do on the tee where it's placed in different spots. That was just nice. And you can feel this crowd waking up a bit here as the guys are starting to make some noise with their bats. Makes the grab. One down. Man, he smoked that fastball. He's all over it. It's just frustrating when you can't get it to fall. Maybe next time off he'll find a hole. So up next, Larry Walker. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. That was a nice bid right there to try to tie up this ball game. Just couldn't keep it from bending foul. He looked locked in on that swing. Pitcher better be careful with him right now. Fly ball down the right field line. If it's fair, it's gone, and that is gone. That fires up the home crowd, and we're level. It's 2-2. Knew what pitch he wanted to hit, spent on some other pitches in this at bat, was very patient, and it paid off. Here's the veteran outfielder, Ryan Broad. The 1 1. Into center. Hauls it in for the out. It. Here's the, the catcher, catcher, Joe Mauer. Joe. Mauer. 1-1 down. And there's a hit. Joey gets on base and keeps it going. Here's the veteran second baseman, Chase Utley. That one blasted deep to right. That's back there. Pulls it in on the warning track. But two come across to score in the inning, courtesy of this two run. Top half of the third inning, and stepping in is the speedy Ken Griffey Jr. Next pitch is inside, and it's 2-1. Well, after putting up a nice inning on offense, got some runs across, this is where you look for the starter to go out there, have a shutdown inning. Don't give that other team any hope. Uh, you just hope that he can get through this inning, get the bats back up there while they're hot. The wind of the pitch. On the ground, right side. Utley, jump throw across his body. Awesome play there. Now back on the third pitch. Down the third baseman, Mike Schmidt worked a walk in his first trip to the plate. That one ripped. Pulls up, and that's in there for a knock. Love how he let that ball travel, trusted his hands. Nice job of going the other way. And here is Reggie Jackson. Got him. Now two out. It's a good breaking ball there, just off the corner where you can't really do much damage, but it's close enough to where you've got to protect, and he just couldn't find a way to fight it off. And a 1-2. In the air to left, down the line. Tries to make the play, but it's foul. In the air, out towards right center. 
Murray retire. And that is the third out of the inning. Welcome back. And now here's the speed threat. Outfielder Curtis Granderson. The 1-1. Granderson. And there's a foul ball. It's good speed at the top of the order here. You want to get it on, see if you can get a stolen base, maybe get around the bases and pick up a run. Drilled in the air, right field, way back there, and that is out of here. He made him pay for that one, and they jump out front. It's 3-2. Chris, that ball came out hot. So let's see what StatCast has to say. Yeah, it really did, Boog. 111 miles per hour off the bat, and a really nice launch angle as well. Just a beautiful swing from start to finish. Oh, and now this one's crushed. This one's on its way, and gone. So he leaves the yard to left, and they add to the lead. It's 4-2. Let's break out the stat cast numbers. It's singing. It tells us this home run was projected at more than 450 feet. Yeah, and not many players can hit home runs. As far as this one, that's a special feeling, and I'm sure he was giggling a little bit as he was jogging around the bases. That was one heck of a swing he put on the baseball. And they get the out on Jones. One away. And next will be the cleanup Number hitter, three. Mark Number McGuire. 25. Singled and scored his first time. McGuire. And one and two. Hurt one yourself ball. swinging at that and missing. Swing and a miss, and he got him. Two gone. Two outs, base is empty. Next is the designated hitter, David Ortiz. He's 0 for 1. And now two, two balls ones. and a strike. Swing and a miss, and that's strike two. Love to see it. Power versus power right there. Swing at a ball lifted to center field. Junior makes the grab. And that is that. But the long ball was working. Back here at the ballpark as we go to the top of the fourth. And here's the catcher, Mike Piazza. Swings and blasts one deep to left center. That's back. Pulls it in on the warning track. So digging in, Cal Ripton Jr. And he's already singled in this game. On the ground to the left. And that's just foul. Got him looking. Two away. Well, really nice job of finishing the hitter off right there. Glove side command, fastball firm to the outside corner. Tell you what, very difficult to do anything with that. Oh, this ball is crushed into left field. It's on its way and gone. He flexes his power with that swing, and they close the gap. It's 4-3. A good hitter gets pitch recognition early. He saw exactly where that was going to be. The challenge, not get over anxious and come out of your swing. He stayed on it and got all of it. One and two here. Hammers that one deep left field and forget it. They go back to back and this game is tied. It's 4-4. That's their third home run of the game. They're having a lot of fun at the plate in this one. They've got the long ball working for them on autopilot. Digging in, Tony Gwynn. And it is 2-1. Breaking ball through there for a strike. Out towards right center field. Granderson makes the grab and that'll end the inning. But the long ball was working. And welcome back. Bottom of the fourth. Now it's the right fielder, Larry Walker. Here's a 1-1. Walker. 
Got the bat going One too more. soon. It's strike two. Well, after scoring runs, this is where you're looking for that shutdown inning. Get that hot team back in there to swing the bats. Got him. And now one away. Well, big power guy right there and generating so much bat speed. It's hard to bring that to a halt once you've committed. He tried to check the swing, just couldn't do it. Pretty good pitch there to take a rip at. He wants to get his arms extended. He likes the ball away from him a little bit, just not able to square it up. Swings through it for the K. Slider got him for strike three. Now batting. And now the catcher comes up to him. Joe Mauer. Two outs. Swing and a miss. And a count one and two. Stays alive. Flew open a little bit with that front shoulder, but was able to slow his bat down just enough to make contact with that pitch. Keep the bat alive. That one ran inside, almost got him. And there's a the ball. The idea was right, looking to locate that fastball up and in. He just missed his spot a little bit. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. Through four, and we're tied. Ready now for the fifth inning, and now the center fielder, Ken Griffey Jr. With Jr., probably one of the sweetest swings we have ever seen, and certainly as signature a swing as any player has ever had. And down on strikes he goes, and there's one down. Mike Schmidt, the next to hit. Outfield playing very deep, not wanting anything over their heads. And that one is lifted in the air. Walker snags it for the second out. Now it's going to be Reggie Jackson, who's 0 for 2 with a pair of strikeouts. This is important. If he can go 1, 2, 3 here, will be a very positive sign for him and for his team. Next oh offering God. misses, and yeah, that's ball two. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Next one misses, and it's three and two. Is there a little wrinkle to that? I think there was. Yeah. Little slider action. Next pitch is popped up. And that is that. Nothing across here this we head to the bottom of the fifth, and now Chase Utley. The second baseman. Tied at four. Swing and a miss, and he got him to chase. Fooled on that pitch, got a little anxious, and now in a two-strike count, he's going to have to widen out his stance, choke up on the bat, and really make sure he has pitch recognition before pulling the trigger. And that'll fall for a base hit. So now back to the top of the order. Back to the top of the lineup. Here's the center fielder, Curtis Granderson. He's already homered in this game. Tag, and he's picked off. Two-two. Got him. And there's two away. Committed to that breaking ball just a little too much and couldn't no pull the bat back in time. You know, once you get it going, it can be so tough to stop the momentum of that barrel. Good pitch, had him fooled. Swings and misses. Two balls, two strikes. Swing and a miss, struck him out. Slider got him for strike three. Welcome back. All right, we go to the top half of inning number six. And here's the first baseman, Eddie Murray. The next pitch misses, and it's three and two. You can see he was trying to stay back long enough to handle the off-speed pitch, but just a little tardy on the fastball. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. He's locked in at the plate when he's using the whole field. He was out in front there, now just bad. needs to let the ball that's travel a little more, and his timing will be back on track. Good pitch for the strikeout. That misses, and that's ball three. Yeah, there's ball four. 
One gone runner at first. Piazza leads off first with one away. Swing and a miss. And a count one and two. Bounce to the left side. Down the line and it's foul. And a pop-up right side foul territory. And no one can get to it. It's a foul ball. Right side. Walker under it. Brings it in. Two away down. So two down now, and here is Joe Morgan. He's already homered here in this one. Swing and a ball ripped out towards right center field. That'll touch down for a hit. Piazza around third. He will score, and it's now 5-4. Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. Great hands on that swing. Took the barrel right to the baseball. Caught it out. The left-hander on now, Billy Wagner. And we all know about his slider. It's just filthy, man. And one of the better ones in the game, I'd say. Ah, ground ball, and that's through the infield. The run comes in from second, and it's 6-4. Picks himself up an RBI. Pretty tough for the infielders to do anything with that one. He pulled it hard into the outfield, and even when you keep it on the ground, it feels great when you hit a missile like that. And now they've got some speed on first, so we'll see if they try to get him into motion. That misses the zone. The count now two and two. Ricky on the move. Slice the other way. That's a base hit. And now they'll have runners on the corners with two away. So two down. Ken Griffey Jr. getting ready to hit. Swings through that one. Corners are occupied with two down. Hot shot to first base and he snags it to end the inning. But two runs for him, and they jump ahead. Part of the order. Well, we go bottom six. Here's the third baseman, Chipper Jones. Drilled in the air. Right field. Way back there. And that is out of here. That's what the fans came to see. And they cut into the deficit. It's 6-5. That's their fourth home run of the game. They can't stop, and they won't stop hitting home runs in this one, Boog. They're clearly feeding off of each other at the dish. And now, Mark McGuire. Next pitch has popped up. Murray settles under it, and there's one down. That was a good pitch to hit right down the heart of the plate. Had pretty good timing on it. Just got underneath it a little bit and popped it up. That one is absolutely belted. That's back there. And forget it. A towering shot to right. And we are starting over. It's 6-6. And their fifth home run of the game. Some things in this sport are contagious, Boog. And right now, for these guys, clearly it's the long ball. Vita Blue into the game. And they felt it was time to bring on a left-handed reliever from the pen with the lefty hitter coming up. I think it's a good move. I know I never liked when opposing teams did that to me. Swag and a miss. The velocity blasted it right past him. Digging in, it's the speedy outfielder, Ryan Broad. The pitch. Check swing. He went. Going to count one and two. In the air, center field. Griffey gets under it. And puts the squeeze on that. And that will end the inning. But the long ball was... Back here at the ballpark. Now the third baseman, Mike Schmidt. Mike. Swing and a miss. He got away with one there, but he knows he can't go into that spot very often against a guy like this. And there's a rocket into the outfield. So a man on base to start the inning. 
good job of just putting the ball in play with two strikes. I could watch base hits like that one all day long, and so could every hitting coach in the league. Just a nice line drive into center field. Base hit. Throw holds him at second, but the go-ahead run now in scoring position, and still nobody out. Oh, just a nice job coming through in a pretty high leverage spot right there. Really good swing right there. He got a pitch that he knew he could hit. Takes it to the bag. That's one. And that's two. Here's the catcher to hit. Mike Piazza. One for two. Strike two. One ball. Two strikes. Next offering misses down and away. Two down. Go ahead, run in scoring position. Got him looking. That's a strikeout. And welcome back. Here's the catcher, Joe Mauer. The catcher. The 1 1. Foul ball. In the air, left field. And Ricky Henderson to grab. One up, one down. Here's the second baseman, Chase Upley. Here's a 1-1. Comes up empty. That's strike two. Got him swinging. Great location with that two-strike fastball. I'll tell you what, as a hitter, you're looking to protect the outside part of the plate, stay back on something off speed. So many times, that location with two strikes, you just can't get around on it, and that's a tough one to compete with. One-two now. Swing and a miss, and that is that. I think the key is... We go to the eighth, and now the shortstop, Cal Ripton Jr., Way inside, gets out of the way. To third. Oh, wow. nice play. Over to first. And that's a great play for the out. Chad like reflexes on that one. Makes the dive, has to get up. Clean exchange to throw a strike across the diamond. And what a tremendous play. So they're making a move for a bat off the bench. Jeff Bagwell. And this is a big at bat in this ball game. In the air, right field. He's under it. Pulls it down, and there's two gone. Here's the left fielder, Ricky Henderson. Trevor Hoffman gets the ball now. He's being eased into the game here with the bases empty. The 1-1. One -one. Swings through that one out in front that time. Trying to keep good speed off the bases. That one misses. Two balls, two strikes to count with two outs. This one in the air right field. Walker makes the catch in and over. Now into the game, Craig Biggio. He'll play second. Ready for the bottom of the eighth at the play. Derek Jeter. Got him! One away. Really love the pitch sequence right there. I'm telling you what, pitcher and catcher are on the same page right now. Chipper Jones digs in now. Coming off an absolute bomb in his last at bat. Got one already tonight. I wouldn't be surprised if he pops another one here. The wind and the pitch. Swung on, belted. Henderson on the move, racing back. Makes the catch up against the wall. Every day during batting practice, these outfielders get about 10 minutes of balls in the gaps. They practice this, and when the game comes, they make the play perfectly. One ball, two strikes. And a ball and two strikes. And down on strikes. And good work there as he gets a one, two, three. 
Welcome back. Now the number two hitter, Tony Gwynn. Ball to strike. The pitch. There's a strike. You know this guy's great speed is in the back of that pitcher's mind. If he can get on, it's going to give him one more thing he's got to think about. Right through there. Got it. And that's the first out. Well, I can't argue with that one. And clearly he was looking for something else, anything but the breaking ball. It's a great pitch to hit right there if you're looking for it. Got it by him for the K. And next will be the cleanup hitter, Mike Schmidt. Two down, nobody on. Late with the swing there. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Slider got him for strike three. So no runs, no hits, no errors. Back here at the ballpark, stepping in, David Ortiz. Swing and a miss. And yeah, the count one and two. Bullpen activity starting up now. Catfish Hunter up and throwing. Swings and misses. Struck him out. Well, there's no shorting up with two strikes right there. I mean, it looked to me like he had one thing on his mind, and that was trying to end this ball game. You know, it's kind of surprising since he was leading off this inning, but when you look at the long ball and how often it's relied upon in terms of scoring runs, being able to win ball games, I guess I'm not so surprised with the way he went after that with two strikes. And it's found away. All tied up here in the last half of inning number nine. Struck him out swinging. Chased the fastball up. And welcome back. New inning getting started. And the batter now, Reggie Jackson. The extra innings rule placing a runner on second to begin the inning was a big move for baseball in 2020. So Chris Howitt, swing and a miss. He struck him out. He swung over top of the curveball. Looks like we've got a substitution at second. Entering is the pinch runner, Ozzie Smith. Swing and a miss. Two balls, two strikes. Movement in the bullpen. Catfish Hunter, the veteran right-hander, appears to be loosening up. Eckersley warming up as well. Still two and two after the foul ball. And a pitch. Swing and a little roller right side. And he grabs it. Foul. The 2 2 now. Next offering is outside. One out. The go ahead run is at second. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. Nice work there to get the strikeout, and that's a big second out. I'll tell you, this home crowd will be fired up. They can get out of this and leave that go-ahead run stranded in scoring position. This is a big moment in this game. As a pitcher, you know the runner on second is ready to push things with his speed. A base hit. Ah, that ends the inning, so we take a break. No runs, no hits, no errors. So coming into the game now, on to the bottom of the 10th. And here's the catcher, Joe Mauer. And here it comes. And now the count filled up three and two. Next offering is foul back. Left hand batter waits. Got him. Now one away. Well, he clearly didn't recognize that curveball out of the hand and tried to check the swing, just went around too far, and you're hoping the umpire maybe missed it, and they bail you out. Runner edges away at second. In the air, out towards right center. Makes the catch. Two up, two down. Now, here is Curtis Granderson. Kicks and fires. And ball four to a board. So up next, Derek Jeter. Swing and a miss. It's a ball and two strikes. That one missed. Home plate umpires trying to tighten things up a little bit.
Got him. Out number three. All set for the start of the inning. In the back. New pitcher on now, Mariano Rivera. Power slider guy, Boo. He throws it hard and gets a lot of late movement, so it's tough to pick up. In there. And so now one and two. Extra innings certainly had a different feel starting in 2020. Swing and a miss struck him out. And he'll be beating himself up on the way back to the dugout. Got a pitch to hit and just couldn't get to it. I think that slider really caught way more of the plate than it was supposed to. Right-hander kicks, deals. Line drive, that's a base hit. Around third. The throw in. Not in time. He beat it, and they've got the lead. And it's a 7-6 game. So the batting order turns over. Now the left fielder, Ricky Henderson. Maybe expecting a punt here. Third baseman playing in on the edge of the grass. Right into the plate. That misses off the outside edge. Well, he's not afraid to fall into a two-strike count. Knows the strike zone very well, so much so. Oh, now this one's high and deep. Way back there. On its way. Gone. A two-run shot. He's done it again. His second homer of the game. It's 9-6. Singy, the ball is jumping off his bat. Yes, it is. Tons of loud contact. Man, it's been impressive. Here's a one-two. This to third. Got him. Got oh, a well-thrown slider like that one can be tough to get in the air. Good downward break on that one. So digging in, Ken Griffey Jr. So now one and two. Now fly ball to right center. Granderson puts it away, and that'll do it. But they strike for three in the inning. Two on this two-run home run. It's now. Welcome back, and here comes the Chipper Jones. Now at the plate. Almost drove one out of here last time up. Wide out to the warning track. And now two and two. This guy's got such a good sinker. As a hitter, you've got to look up in the zone. If you look down, you're going to be chasing stuff in the dirt. Goes down, swinging for the strikeout. Blew the express right by his bat for strike three. So now it's the four-hole hitter, Mark McGuire. Right-handed reliever. And strike two. Jeter, the runner at second with one away. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. Nice, doubled up with the slider for that punch out. The one before just caught the zone. So as a hitter, you have to protect right there. Great pitch to just expand a little bit more. Oh, now this is blasted. Way back there, on its way, gone. His second home run of the game, and they inch closer. It's 9-8. This crowd back alive. And here is Larry Walker. And that one almost got him. This is the guy they turn to to get the most important outs of the ball game, but they're going to make him work to get this save. And there's a hit. So the tying run reaches with two away. Two consecutive base hits for these guys here. That's a good sound coming off the bat, man. And as he connected out front and lifted into the outfield, that's one of those swings where you just don't even feel the ball hit the barrel. That's a pure stroke. Swing and a miss, and that's the ball game. Well, we saw both teams come ready to swing it in this one, and they found a lot of success. A couple of touchdowns up on the board today. Pretty amazing, and it turned out to be a close one, considering all the runs put up really